Hello! Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's us. Um, I'm Philip, this is Anna, and we are doing... Moin! <laughs> <laughs> Already something I'm saying. We're doing the one head clapping stream. Yeah. So, I hope you can hear us and everything is well. Mm -hmm. We have a special guest for this... Uh, hey! <laughs> we have a special guest for this stream, uh, the developer, the, like... Um, one of the developers, of course, and it's uh, Thomas Wilson. Um, he's the creative director. We can't hear him yet, <laughs> but we will soon switch over so then we can introduce him. Let's switch over then. Hi. Hi, Thomas. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Hi Philip. Hi, Anna. <laughs> Um, I'm here in the Bad Dream Games headquarters in sunny Los Angeles, California. Um, it's a little bit early here, so forgive me if my voice sounds a little toady. <laughs> yeah, it's very early. Like Many thanks but, to um, you for <laughs> getting up that early to do that stream for with, together no, with us. Yeah, no worries. It's, it's I'm excited. Sorry. Oh no, I'm excited to watch you you two play the game and talk about it. Yeah, and I'm actually excited to finally get to talk with you because mm. I didn't get the chance to talk with you yet. Uh, <laughs> no, this is our first time meeting. It's very yeah. exciting. And I have a lot of questions about um, how the whole game came together and how it all started and stuff. Me too. So I'm excited <laughs> to learn. So yeah, you have, of course, played the game a lot already. Yeah. Uh, like you're the lead tester and the producer. So, um, yeah, and to introduce the game uh, would be great to, um, to hear you talk about how this idea came together, how it all started, and yeah. Um, yeah, so for those of you who don't know in the audience, and maybe even Anna here, uh, uh, the game is you know, called One Hand Clapping. It's a 2D puzzle platformer where you sing into your microphone and solve musical puzzles. Um, you wander through this you know, multicolored, sort of beautiful, chill, vibrant world uh, and interact with various you know, environmental objects or characters that get you to use your voice in all these different ways. Um, so you're physically singing into the microphone um, and the game analyzes your pitch to, um, you know, do all sorts of things. Uh, the game is this huge uh, smorgasbord of mechanics that, uh, you know, really push the boundaries on how a game can respond to uh, human input or vocal input. Um, so, you know, the story of it is um, quite long. And, but I'll give the short version. Um, we have a bit time, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, essentially, you know, we, I've been working on this game since uh, uh, 2016. Um, you know, I started working on it alone and just sort of playing around with all the different ways that maybe your voice could uh, respond to, or not the other way around, your game can respond to your voice. Um, <laughs> I think the voice and, also responds to the game a bit. <laughs> right, that's very true. Um, and then, you know, slowly over time, I was at school at the time um, and uh, got more and more team members to work on it um, until, you know, I had a team of about uh, 20 people, you know, give or take. Um, and we worked over a year to um, make this 20 minute demo um, and that demo, you know, soon went viral after its release and was played by lots of YouTubers who were excited to share their voices with, with their audiences, which is, you know, a really vulnerable thing to do. And I think, um, you know, a lot of content creators left it the chance to, uh, you know, show that side of themselves that people don't usually get to see. Um, and it's kind of a game where you can't really, you know, a lot of people have personas or, um, you know, you really get to see the, everyone's true self, unless they're, you know, singing with a funny voice, but that's, you know, that's just how they, yeah. um, but it's you know, like also show their personality. The voice is part of a personality and yeah, if you like, uh, yeah, can can play with that in, in, the, in, the, in the stream environment and get people to laugh with you and uh, about you, <laughs> um, yeah. trying to, right. to solve these puzzles, uh, that's hilarious and so. It, yeah, it usually ends up people just screaming into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I hope we won't end up doing that today, but we will get famous because we are now famous, uh, streamers playing this game. Uh, yes. No, it works the other way around. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, great. So it was a student, a student demo and mm. yeah, you already had great success with it. And now we are making oh, yeah. a, a real game, right? <laughs> Yeah, so now we are taking the a concept behind that student demo and turning it into you know everything we wanted it to be. So um, it's a much longer game. Um, our first release on early access with Stadia um, is sort of like an extension of the student demo. Um, it takes the desert biome, which is kind of like the the core of the demo, um, and expands it out into like an hour of content. Um, sort of fleshes out each of the mechanics that were found in the student demo while also adding a bunch uh, more new ones. Um, and, you know, that whole process has been super exciting as well, working with Handy Games to, um, you know, take this, you know, much small concept, but sort of blowing it up into, you know, you know, all of the dreams that we had, <laughs> you know, while initially working on that, that smaller game. Um, so it's been crazy. It's been, you know, <laughs> there's so much content and there's so much. Um, it's evolved a lot. You know, yeah. yeah, there's lots of like weird narrative stuff going on that we didn't really have time to do before. Um, and that's that's been really rewarding. Yeah, I think it's, it would be a good time to like start playing the game and then we can yeah, continue to talk it. about while we also play. Yeah. We'll see how that works out. But uh, okay. I think, uh, yeah. So thanks so far, we will set up the game and then uh, sure. we can all watch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's start the game. So. You can do some more vocal warm-ups maybe. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> yeah, you have to train us. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so and now. The game will train you. <laughs> game will train <laughs> So I don't have to. <laughs> Yes, and I can hear it. Nice. Then uh, we should switch oh, over to the game. Yes. Now everyone should be able to see the game, and yes. we'll just I take the controller here yeah. and start the game. Nice. Hold your breath. <gasps> <sighs> a lot of pe people already die in that part of the game. <laughs> <clears throat> cool. So, so, I guess I can talk a little bit about just this section right here. So, <clears throat> the um, you know that whole intro se sequence, the deserts, actually the the second biome in in the game. So um, you're kind of starting off in this cliffhanger. You know, who is this character? Where are they coming from? Who's this other character who just saved you? Why did they have to save you to begin with? Um, so, you know, some sort of Star Wars prequel stuff going on here where, um, or not prequel, whatever, the later, anyway, uh, you know, where we'll introduce the, the biome that comes before the desert um, in a later early access release. So doing early access has been really cool because we've been able to sort of mix up how we release the biomes as like chapters. Um, but yeah, so you know, you dive right into this sort of calibration sequence. So the first most important thing about this game is that, uh, you know, we want the player to, um, you know, first of all, that the game picks up their voice. Um, so we do like a sensitivity calibration while you're being quiet at the beginning. Um, and then we go straight into this range calibration um, where we ask the player to sing their low note, where you can sing your low note. Uh, and then trio. your high note. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then we kind of choose the middle between those, um, and then you know verify that range by getting them to sing a few specific notes. So. Uh, uh, That was just perfect. 
Uh, now you're on your way. It took a while, but <laughs> entering the duet desert, so... getting a nice big hug from I love this character. Hugs. Oh. So great. So <laughs> that hug at the beginning, it always makes me so happy. Uh, now the I'm game glad. is calibrated to my voice, so now if I get to a puzzle and and I want to sing it, <laughs> it will be quite low. Uh, right. So, like, what do we do if we find out that it didn't work? Uh, that, like, someone else wants to play and that pitch doesn't work right now. Yeah. So if you press escape, you can always, you know, hit recalibrate, or not escape, sorry, the menu button. Mm -hmm. um, and, the, you know, the second option right there is range calibration. Um, so pressing that, you can... Um, so sing to now... see see your voice within the range, and all the uh... lines will go green if you're in your range. So uh, now, um, if you sing your range, <laughs> way too high. So yeah, you can see it's a <laughs> your, your bit range higher. starts where mine mine ends. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> trying to see. So we could so, now adjust it to that it's between our ranges, so we can both try to play. Yeah, it's it's safe, yeah. and then you can kind of switch off, I guess, as it sort of goes between. You can also check the sensitivity calibration. So, yeah, so you look yeah, at that. It thing. doesn't pick up when we are not if we're just breathing. Uh, it shouldn't turn green, right? Mm, yeah, hopefully not. Oh, that sounds fine. Maybe we yeah. can even make it a bit lower that our lower singing voices still come yeah. come through. Mm. I guess the microphone for the game is quite far away for us. Yeah. Yes. Set up and stuff. But yeah, it, I think it uh, calibrates uh, really well yeah. <laughs> what we. It looks good. Cool. We try to do. Yeah, I mean, ha having a good calibration is pretty important. I mean, once it's set up once, you're kind of good to go for the rest of the game. Um, so yeah, taking the time to sort of just check everything because everyone has different <laughs> so, system settings that can in interfere and whatnot. So. It's so funny if I'm talking that <laughs> then opens his mouth. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, we just try. But what happens now? Ended here and now in this beautiful desert. Yeah. So this is the Melody Hermit, and she's kind of like your guide through the through the desert. Um, and her, um, you know, she's starting to show you the power of your voice um, for the first time. Um, you know, showing you how much power she has, and then also, you know. Um, Showing you that you can also do that as well, but maybe not as intense or cool. She but, feels um, to me, she feels like a a, a mother figure. Almost. Yeah, <laughs> You're talking. So that's, that's already <laughs> influencing the elevator. <laughs> well, let, let, let's uh, do this elevator puzzle. So now we just are supposed to sing a high note, I guess. To, to make yes. So this bridge will move up and down as you sing up and down. So you can try messing around with that. Uh... Was still possible wow. to do it even with the higher range. Easy. Awesome. <laughs> so easy. Uh, so yeah, this whole section is, you know, the way the game is pretty much broken up is that um, there are different chunks of mechanics. So we kind of take one mechanic one by one, uh, sometimes interweaving them, um, but kind of exploring them uh, in turn, starting off really easy and getting harder as you go. Um, but so yeah. I guess I'll just do this one too. So you're wandering through these desert ruins. Ooh, um, and yeah, the so Melody cool. Hermit you said is like a mother figure. That's sort of what we were going for, like this mother bird um, caretaker who's really protective and, um, you know, loving and trying to teach you, you know, how to harness the power of your voice slowly and steadily while watching over you carefully. I think I will just uh, try to solve the puzzles while you are talking, so I will sing in between. That's okay. Yeah, 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 sure. So, because it feels a bit awkward standing in the puzzles and already knowing the solution. So uh, this, this way they move up and down uh, mm. uh, differently. Like one moves up when I sing high, the other goes down. Let, let's try it out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Very nice. Yeah, so we wanted to, you know, the first puzzles you do, we want to be a little less uh, 
you know, specific with how you use your voice. So um, these, we call them the rising bridges. Um, they, um, you know, you don't really have to sing specific notes. And that's kind of what's cool about this game, as opposed to maybe traditional uh, ways of teaching music is that we can kind of intuitive, uh, just have players intuitively mess, intuitively mess around with their voice. Oh no, all right. Um, Gives the player also a bit of a bit more freedom to yeah. explore their own voice because at this point you probably don't have as good of a feeling or feel for your own voice yet. Mm -hmm. so, but I think it's yeah. also that the, the game is not meant to be like a hardcore puzzle thing where it's only one solution <laughs> and you have to be really really tricky to get it. It's more like also expressing a freedom freedom um, right. <laughs> with the voice. Yeah, this here. one. This puzzle is also kind of cool because a lot of these uh, bridges are uh, bounded to your range. So they'll only go as high as your highest note, but this platform here will actually go as however high you want. So, okay. uh, Philip, if you want to sing your highest note, okay, you can it. see how high you can get up. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe I can help. No, you try. <laughs> nice. Oh, and we found another creature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Ooh, those are the wee foxes, <laughs> and the, they kind of, if if the melody hermit is the mother figure, the wee foxes are kind of like your your younger brothers or sisters, um, who are up, always up to no good and kind of uh, follow the melody hermit around. I love the wee foxes. They're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Hey. La, 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 la. <laughs> like, you, I think you can also like whistle or like hum. You don't like there's different really? ways to sing, right? Like this. Oh no, it doesn't didn't work. <laughs> Maybe it's out of range. Mm. No, my whistling is not detected very well. <laughs> Maybe a bad <laughs> bad. So mm. we're trying humming. Humming is humming is great. Humming's good. I like humming. Mm -hmm. Calming. But, mm. but I think <laughs> you you once said that um, in the beginning, like the first things you, ma uh, you 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 made when you made this student demo, or even before, it was mm -hmm. much more a puzzle game and much less a singing game, or or, or harder. Is it true? Y yeah, it was. Um the first prototype I made was all like boxes and like kind of looked like, uh, I don't know, Thomas was alone or something, um, but felt like uh, Super Meat Boy or something with all of the platforming that was going on. So like there would be really fast platforms moving around you that you could like stop by singing or something. and You'd have to like platform over them um, or like all these sort of uh, bullets shooting at you that you would have to sing to like change the color. Um, that and hectic. it was hectic. It was cool. And, you know, I don't think like a whole game of that would be, you know, kind of slowly teach people to feel comfortable with their voice and like really engage them. Um, it's definitely an aspect that, you know, we can you know, play with in this game because there's so much that we're doing with it anyway. Um, but, you know, we kind of realized that, um, you know, we didn't really want, we wanted to remove death from the game. Um, and you know focus more on uh getting people to you know think about using their voice instead of just screaming all the time um <laughs> yeah, i think it makes it much more accessible and like yeah, uh, yeah. and and just like the the act of singing is kind of this really calming thing um and singing into the game feels really empowering and so we wanted to you know mimic that in the visuals and the story and also the feel of the mechanics to sort of make this really comforting environment uh, and safe space where you can, you know, sing. Okay. So I now will try this wheel puzzle. Um, see if I just talking right here, and nothing happens. So I think I have to sing higher. Uh, 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 uh. Beautiful. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> this puzzle's like, yeah. 
the culmination of the this section where you have to block the wind with the bridge by using your voice to lift it up and down. So now if I just jump up here, oh, we're dragging it away. <laughs> and now even here, no here, it's not high enough. So let's try to get the platform up a bit, but not so far that the wind, the wind keeps hitting me. Uh, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. You are a professional. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. So now we're at the top of the bridge. Ah, what a nice view. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> What's uh, going on? <laughs> Somebody help me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I must say anything else. Okay, nice. So, her power of singing is stronger than this storm. Yeah, apparently. Once yeah. again, saves you from certain demise. So if I have uh, would have sung that loud in that moment, I wouldn't have done it right. <laughs> it's only her who can do it. Yeah, you haven't really. I don't think you're powerful enough yet, Philip. Yeah, maybe Anna is. Um, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so that you know, um, sort of every mechanic you encounter with the harmony. Uh, sorry, with the melody hermit, um, she kind of teaches you by doing it herself first and then you know tells you to do it as well so this is the second mechanic uh in the desert biome um you want to where? try yeah i can try uh the reset button is okay uh, yeah, nice. first, first bridge was easy but <laughs> <laughs> see you can do this as well what all right. uh, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it's fair. Through, through the rock. <laughs> look at look at how close she was. <laughs> that, 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 that takes skill. Yeah. Well, I think if you hit the rock, it, the bridge stops, yeah, right? Yeah, it usually stops. So I think there are many options here. Like it's either you go above or you go very be below, so you can yeah. still fit under that rock. Mm. But like it kind of lifts up and <laughs> she, down. She did both so. <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, you see a skill tester finding yeah. new ways to play <laughs> the game. <laughs> Try this. Uh, there you go. You, you know, <laughs> you, you you know all the tips and tricks. <laughs> yeah, because like that's just, like a really boring way to do it, right? <laughs> I mean, I can go zigzag if you want. <laughs> we'll try to zigzag. Uh, uh, oh, no, I think now we are blocked. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I think the boring way is better. <laughs> Okay. That looks pretty, uh, the, oh, the way. Uh, nice. I like bridges will become complicated, more yeah. complicated, so. Mm -hmm. Let's do it easy ones for easy way. Oh, I'm already starting. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Cool. Saved it. <laughs> <laughs> talking into singing, it's yeah. possible. <laughs> Yeah, try it. She's too good. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got too many hours on this game already. <laughs> so. Uh, how is it like if you're designing those puzzles? Um, mm. Always you have to find some way to to make the voice influence these puzzles or making them the main part of that puzzle. Um, mm -hmm. how, how is it like designing puzzles for the human voice different for um, compared to designing just puzzles in a like platform game? Something. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting. Um, so I mean, when we're designing a puzzle, we kind of have the basic idea. Um, and this idea has been around for, you know, since the student demo, pretty much. We just kind of expanded upon it. Um, and so we kind of have this rule, this general rule that we keep when making a puzzle, where um, if the puzzle's mechanically different, uh, difficult, then um, the singing has to be really easy 
to do. Like the singing portion of it has to be really easy to do. So you um, if like I... if you if if there are lots of moving pieces or if there's like um, uh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Philip. <laughs> yeah, what I meant like if if it's hard to figure out what to do. Right, exactly. Doing yeah. it should be easy. And if it's like, oh, I see exactly, I have to sing this bridge, it's, it's quite easy, but it's more like then right. the skill part is, is harder, right? Yeah. So, so the way, like when you approach a puzzle, the game doesn't really tell you how to do anything really. Um, and so when you first approach a mechanic, you're like, okay, what am I supposed to do here? And the first thing you do obviously is sing because this is a singing game and everything responds to your voice. Um, and so the way you figure out a puzzle is really by singing and seeing what's happening on the screen in front of you. Um, and if you kind of have to keep singing to figure out what is happening in the puzzle, then you're exhausted by the time you know how to solve the puzzle. And then when you um, really right. try to <laughs> sing it, it's only... <laughs> 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 and so then, you know, if the puzzle is really simple to solve, though, um, or, you know, if the puzzle is like really uh, clear, like what you're meant to do, then we also kind of want it to be uh, fairly easy to solve it as well because we don't want the player to feel frustrated by the fact they can't solve this puzzle that they know what to do they just like are limited by you know the singing portion which you know let's say this button is just in between a million different columns um, and you know the melody hermit swats your voice away every time you get close to it then that would feel really frustrating um, so yeah I'll That's just kind of finish this puzzle part. and then we can talk now. Yeah, okay. Uh, no. Uh, I saved it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I had to hit the column yeah. there. But now like I'm I'm stuck here, so uh, there's always a way to reset the puzzle, right? And mm. in this case I don't have to redo the puzzle because like it's part of it that I'm top here. I just have to be fast enough after resetting it to go <laughs> That's through like, it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> you can also just wait on the other side of the column and then do it again, I guess. Yeah, you can, like you can do it. it again. But you can't or go, go back to halfway. the yeah. Right. So now I'm inside a yeah. temple, I guess. Yeah, you're inside these, these ruins. Um, and in these ruins, the puzzles get a little more challenging. Um, so you can hear there's like a little bit more weaving to go through. And it also introduces some of the other sort of ideas. What I, oh, I need to go up there first. So I think just there's a button here, but I need to be up first. So maybe I do it in, in two tries. Then mm. reset. Beautiful. <laughs> Can I ask you about the art style for a second? Um, yes. How like did you get any inspiration from any already e existing game or hmm. any? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were talk uh, your talking voices were exactly Sorry. right. Sorry. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. Did um, where did you uh, where did you get your inspiration for the art style? Where did mm -hmm. you get your inspiration for the art style? Because <laughs> I need to oh. I need to have the <laughs> So oh. <laughs> almost, but I can go over It'd be here. funny if you could like push yourself off the platform with your voice or something oh. back to the... <laughs> nice. nice. Off screen. Well done. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like I can play um, this game yeah. blind. <laughs> the art style. So um you know we had the existing student demo art style, which we started in, in 2017 or something. Um and that kind of took on this cool like 2D, 3D, slightly like there's some perspective to the camera, even though it's all orthographic uh, perspective. Um, uh, and so when we were developing this game, you know, we kind of we had that existing art style, um, but we kind of realized, you know, that, you know, method, that perspective. Um, was going to be pretty challenging for making such a long game. Um, other games have attempted to to do it to like, uh, and it kind of depends on the different um, kind of game you're making. Um, but for this game, you know, we wanted it to be really clear exactly what's happening on the screen, um, and so we opted for this more, um, you know, head-on, flat art style uh, in comparison to the student demo. Um, in terms of like inspirations. Um, 
you know, initially I think Inside was a big inspiration. Um, and just for like the, the look and feel of the game, you know, even though it's 3D versus 2D, um, I think like the, the flat shadedness and moodiness of it, um, especially for our city biome. Um, and then for this game, um, you know, we were definitely inspired by Gree, which is one of the more, you know, beautiful 2D game puzzle platformer, or I don't know if it's a uh, platform is released recently, um, which kind of has this, a lot of similar themes um, with deserts and different biomes and, um, you know, wandering from different biome to biome. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's been cool, you know, working with on an art style to, uh, you know, that is modular that we can reuse to create this much larger game than the student demo. Um, and yeah, taking a lot of inspiration from other games that have done that before. And to, um, to see more of it, I will try to with yeah. puzzle. So Philip, do you want to show off the auto-complete feature, maybe? Is that <laughs> oh, cool? No, no, we, we want to do it ourselves here. Okay. No. <laughs> if you're struggling. <laughs> Whoa, that's some art. That's art. Yeah. That's beautiful. Looks like two dogs kissing. Aww. <laughs> I was seeing so an octopus with just, with just so four tentacles. Test. <laughs> that that oh. means you have serious problems. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. On the other side, it's, yeah. it's mirrored, so ah, it can get, get even up here. So let's try it again. Uh, uh, Almost. Uh, Nice. Sometimes you have to sing ugly yeah. to get the job done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my wall. <laughs> cool. Now you made it out of the ruins. Yeah, now it's ah, silent. Peaceful desert. <laughs> uh, I think we've so found beautiful. some plants here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where are we? Oh my gosh, what is this place? Wow. Wow. <laughs> It's this. It's a big tree. <laughs> Oasis. Cactus. I, I want to finish that tree to show some of the uh, new stuff, so... Uh... Uh... It's my favorite part. My favorite mm. puzzle. Uh... Oh, sorry, I <laughs> didn't hear what, what she sang. Uh... His favorite part, maybe you'll sing the next one. Oh, oh god, that's like, <laughs> Should we recalibrate? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You could switch off the notes. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. So. Nah. Yeah, that's okay. under here another wee fox so that wee fox is singing the the melody from the student demo actually it's like a oh, little I homage <laughs> Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. Easy. <laughs> Making your way to the top of the tree. <laughs> So the here top of you. The tree looks so yeah. cozy. I just want to go lay down and. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Just Relax looking out over the desert, on, bathing in those pools. Yeah. <sighs> Beautiful. Now everyone's here for the lesson. Like the animations always. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I would fail so hard singing those high notes. <laughs> <laughs> could, uh, could try to sing along with you to see if yeah. it works. Oh no, I don't do it. I'm way too too low. <laughs> but you've already done it. <laughs> yeah. I just love the wee foxes so much. The animations are. Cute. I think yeah. that's all uh, like that's hand drawn animations like frame by frame. Mm. Mm -hmm. For me, it always sounds a bit like the Simpsons theme. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult um, enough that we don't get legal problems, I guess, but <laughs> it has a bit of a vibe. No. Oh, what? So now it's getting very dark. And I think we have to free ourselves by being loud or singing. So, so that mm. darkness is, is something like a recurring thing in the game, right? This, this, this. Right. Yeah, so it's a little, you know... But everything is happy in this game. There's, there's some darkness. <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely some darkness in, in our next release. I think everyone will get a taste of that. Yeah. Um, we were just talking about this earlier, um, Philip and I, because I think this darkness, or I think you call it silence, um, yeah. can be interpreted in so many ways. Because, mm. It really can. Um, <laughs> Like, for me, I, I interpreted it in a way, like, I could see a lot of perils and um, just a lot of common things with um, certain mental illnesses even. Mm -hmm. Like, the darkness, I, I could see certain aspects of depression in there. Like when you, you mm. have ups and downs and it all comes mm -hmm. very sudden sometimes. But mm -hmm. there's always like you um the hermit for example, it uh it, it's there to catch you and mm -hmm. um yeah, show you that there's always like the journey never ends. There's right. lightness come light is still there in the world. You just have to yeah. 
find but it. <laughs> for me, it would be interesting like, to, uh, yeah. to hear is, is there like, is there an intended meaning or is it like yeah. this game is abstract enough that it's made for mm. people to interpret different things into it? Yeah. I mean, we, we definitely put a lot of thought into sort of what silence is and what it represents and how that is portrayed in the mechanics and uh, the narrative. Sorry, these melodies are going to keep playing over okay, and yeah, over I, until I, we I, solve, I, it. solve it. <laughs> oh, let's, sorry. let's just solve it. Maybe we should have recalibrated, but it worked anyway. <laughs> Good job. I, I, this is a completely different place now, right? This feels a lot yeah. darker and yeah. Right. So I mean, yeah, in the you know, we we um you know the game as a whole is about finding confidence in your own voice and your relationships to other people. Um and you know that can come in lots of different forms for lots of different people. So it's you know, it's hard to nail down you know, or, you know, explain everything in this mechanic, in this game with no, you know, text or, um, uh, you know, um, you know, very little sort of ways to explain such a complex topic. Um, and, but, you know, the, this, this character here is, you know, kind of uh, trying to figure out themselves and, uh, you know, learn more about, you know, these different parts of their life, their, their lives, you know, with their mother or with their friends or, um, and looking to sort of find their voice again. Um, so. That's beautiful, man. Thanks. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so there are the, like. Now, right? For one puzzle, at least. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Maybe we should recalibrate for you. I think it works still. <laughs> Maybe not, not, not nice to look at, to hear, <laughs> but, but I can console it. Maybe. It's a hard puzzle, yeah. So I was talking a bit about like narrative in the game and how we don't really have words. So this is sort of one of our opportunities to like sprinkle in some narrative with these constellations that form. Sort of like a little confusing maybe at first, but um nice. <laughs> the moving one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tricks me with a different note. <laughs> Oh, it's getting interesting because... Right, there are two roads here. So um, it's a little confusing which one you're meant to do. Um, and... This one can be really hard for some people because you have yeah. to use your ear to kind of figure out which ones are higher and which ones are lower. Um, and then sing those notes. So we don't have much time left, I think like about 10 minutes. I think we'll sure. try to solve these kind of puzzles and, and start the next one and, and then end it here. Um, like, what I also think is great now uh, is all the sound design. Like yeah. you really feel like yeah. you're in a, in a cave. And what's interesting for nice. me is like is, is how the sound design and the music, especially for a game that's about music, how did you approach that? And I will, mm. even if you're talking, I will try to solve these puzzles <laughs> meanwhile. Okay. Um, yeah, that's definitely something we have to put a lot of thought into. Um, you know, talking with our sound designer, um, we, you know, we often have to go through like pretty um, clearly, you know, what the mechanic is and what the conditions have to be. Um, so this sort of constellation here, you can see is like the player falling from something. Oh, right. I didn't uh, even realize. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, so yeah, like for this section, you know, if you walk in and out of the puzzles, you'll notice that the melodic layers fade out to leave only the drum layers so that the melody of the background music doesn't conflict with the melody mm. in the puzzle. And then also, you know, the, the part in the nest, for example, you know, 
that involves lots of different layers fading in and out, and you know, uh, the melodies you sing have to be really, uh, you know, gradually gradual in how they increase in difficulty, um, and in how. They Oh, that oh, almost boy. killed me. <laughs> Did I do it? No, I didn't do it. What, what failed? Oh, no. I'm not sure. <laughs> was not the right note, but high enough. <laughs> Team work. We did it. Yes. <laughs> cool. So yeah, I mean, we for the the background music here. You know, we really want each biome to feel different musically. Yeah. Um, so the desert is very relaxed and has these kind of marimba instruments. Um, and you know, the the cave is very mysterious, and so we try to, um, but also kind of, you know, the longer you solve it, the song becomes more and more uplifting and less kind of spooky. Um, yeah, and then the bells here are kind of in the same notes as the background music. So that's like other small things that we have to, to tweak to make it feel cohesive. So. Ah, I think I already did this. So. But I think at this point, I think we can um, stop the game and just... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we can cool. show what's up here to tease and that you can try to <laughs> see hey that's some cool next thing that you want maybe want to solve now there's a whole lot of bells because also interesting like now there are puzzles right now they don't need to sing so there's sometimes mm. you you have these um like these these pauses there to maybe to make me relax my voice mm -hmm. and and do something else so maybe you mm -hmm. can talk a bit about like what what different types of puzzles there are going to be like in the later yeah um, what's there to come yeah Release yeah it. so the you know the game as a whole has you know lots of different biomes and each biome explores a different kind of way of using your voice um and so the desert is all about melody um and you know keeping it all about notes and you singing those notes um and but yeah no that can get exhausting and so we also want to get the player to you know think about hearing notes and and you know playing them on an instrument like those bells mm -hmm. and how that can also affect the world just to give them a, a break maybe from singing if they you know that whole section leading up to this bell section is you know quite a long amount of time <laughs> to spend singing the last um, note uh, had me yeah <laughs> Especially if you're, you know, you don't sing every day like yeah. I do. If you're not used um, to it, it can be quite game. exhausting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But speaking um, of, um, mm -hmm. I, uh, I remember that um, one larger purpose of this game is to to make the player feel more comfortable with their voice, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to add that I, I personally, already have made the experience um, that. Because I'm, I'm a really anxious and shy person. And I would have mm. never thought in my life that I would be brave <laughs> enough to sing uh, in a game on live stream for lots of people. A round of applause. The, well the done. The game works. <laughs> it really does. And I, I would have cool. never thought I would have the confidence. And mm. yeah, I just, I, just, I just wanted to add that it actually does what it's supposed to. Right. I mean, once you're in the game, you're like, you're not in the real world anymore, really. Yeah. Like, you just feel like your voice is coming out of this character and it is a tool for you to traverse the world. Yeah. And before you know it, you're like singing all these songs yeah. and... Um, you have an excuse to sing. Like, yeah. like singing is, is something, like, it feels good, right? But you are kind uh -huh. of, like, ashamed if you do it, right? <laughs> because you right. you might not be good because you don't do it often. Like, uh, mm -hmm. but if you're playing a game, then it's to play the game and you... And you find out, hey, it's actually, it's it's really fun to sing. Mm -hmm. Even, mm -hmm. No matter how good it sounds, like, yeah. <laughs> it, it's right. more fun if it's better, but yeah. uh, <laughs> even if you just barely make it, it's still, it's still nice, nice feeling. I mean, it, right. it's, in, a, in a way, it's just, uh, it's fun, but it might not be as pleasant for other people to hear it, <laughs> yeah. if you're not right. that good of a singer. Yeah, so, okay. so what, what, 
what can we say to people that think, no, I'm not a good singer, this is not a game for me? What would you say to those people? Um, I mean, the game, you know, it, it, it tries to ease you into it and it, you know, takes, holds your hand, you know, the Melody Hermit will be there for you. <laughs> um, and, you know, just to, um, you know, it, there's, there's no right or wrong answer in, in the game really. And, you know, you, your goal is just to get to the other side and that's, what's cool, you know, is, um, however you want to, you know, get from point A to point B, B using your voice. Um, you can you can experiment with that, um, and even if it sounds terrible, or you think it you know you think it sounds terrible, um, you know if you win, you win, right? <laughs> 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 no, no, that's not really the, the idea. Um, I think it gets it gets but, better. Like you you, you learn it, a bit. Yeah. Like if you and just it, it's really rewarding. Your voice, uh... mm -hmm. And you know they're. Uh, you know, the mechanics are small enough so that you get that reward of feeling accomplished fairly often. Um, you know, the Melody Hermit cheering for you or, you know, a big burst or the constellation forming, you know, you get to see something unfold every time you, you know, you hit the right note. Um, so, I mean, yeah, thanks for sharing, Anna, that you that felt that way. That's, that's yeah. awesome. And I think, you know, for me, I feel like I've gotten a better singer making the game as well. You know, my falsetto has definitely improved. Um, <laughs> I can, I can sing high voices in the car on the way to work um, <laughs> with with more confidence maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that, you know, we can create another outlet for people to be creative, um, you know, outside of like the the depths of a karaoke bar or something um, where you don't necessarily have to be drunk or something, but maybe, <laughs> maybe it helps. Um, yeah. yeah. And it's also like, uh, you, you can play this game right now. We don't like have a demo up right now, but um, the game is on Stadia mm -hmm. uh, in early access. Mm -hmm. And like we are starting, like I said, we started with a small section of the game and we are now updating it every two months. And the first big content, really big content update came out um, like a week ago, exactly a week ago. <laughs> so mm -hmm. there's now like, uh, I think we, we played half of that right now, something like that. Yeah, yeah about more, half. Yeah. So, and like every two months we will, there will be more content like until the full game is finished. And now at the beginning, because the content is, uh, is smaller, it's also cheaper. So if you, if you want to play it right now, I think you can get it for three bucks now on Stadia and you will get all the future updates. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it's a steal. And, yeah, it's a steal. It's, a deal. it's, it's really. To, to get well. game of the year at that price, that's, yeah. that's yeah. something else. It will get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and if you if you want to to know more about the game and uh, maybe talk to Thomas a bit more, like uh, on our Discord server, um, Please. you can join us there, and uh, yeah. we'll be happy to answer we'll questions. We'll all be there. You can just chat with us if you feel like, and maybe meet other people who are also very interested in this game. Just yeah, stop by and um, yeah, yeah. You can share ask, your thoughts. Yeah. We want to hear them because we're still in early access. So we're still actively, you know, working on this game. So yeah. if you feel like, oh, this part is just way too hard or, um, Any feedback you know, is welcome, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it helps really uh, to improve the game and make it better for everyone. Yeah. And I think that like that has a lot of potential. Of, obviously we see that because we are, <laughs> we are, we are publishing the game, but it, it's really great, uh, what we have heard so far, mm -hmm. um, from people nice. playing it. Um, and Good. even like now streaming it, playing it, 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 was, it was fun. I, uh, even like I want to continue, uh, <laughs> but you were also giving such uh, good answers, so yeah. I could decide what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, it's awesome to talk about the game and have the chance to do that. So yeah, yeah. So uh, thank you very much for joining us here. Um, mm. That was uh, one thing, like tomorrow um, we will do another stream of this game um, and we will try out, because it's not really made for it, but we will try out to use some instruments uh, to play cool. for the game. I think we will get further than today. Um, <laughs> and like you have a guitar here, a piano, and we'll try what we can do. Maybe we'll bring some extra instrument too. Let's see. Philip is a, is a real talent. He can do everything. So, yeah, we, we'll try it um, uh, and see how, how good the ga game can handle it currently. Because, of course, like we do a lot of testing here at Handy Games, mm -hmm. but we have not tested it yet with instruments. <laughs> we have used our voice. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm nervous. I think that will be funny. So, yeah, uh, yeah cool. tune in tomorrow. Yeah. 
and try it. Yeah. I'll be um, there. Yeah, meanwhile, I mean, so far, um, it's uh, the game is only accessible and er uh, early access on Stadia, and it will mm -hmm. be Stadia only um, mm. until the game is fully complete and fully finished and fully released on Stadia. We can mm. already wishlist it on Steam, however, um, mm. as I've been told. Um, Nice. Yeah, you can have a look and see. It's gonna still take it will take a while for it to be released on other platforms, but um, yeah, just wish list us, uh, wish list wish it, list. and meanwhile, just go to Stadia. I mean, it's three bucks at the moment, <laughs> so get it. Right, <laughs> it's there's be the, worth it. <laughs> the the one month free trial. I actually got it like a couple of weeks ago because I, I've you know I've been developing for Stadia, but never got to try it myself. Yeah. And it was really cool, you know, you know, you log in. Um, and the, you know, the sign in, like the, the free trial process, getting it is really easy. And then all of a sudden you just have all these free games to play, uh, and you can just play instantly, like with no download time and you don't need the memory on your computer or whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I played some games with some of my, my team members here, uh, and some other, some other games. Um, yeah, it's a super cool platform and really really easy to use. Okay. Then, yeah. Thanks, uh, everyone. Try it out again. Yeah. Uh, thanks yeah. for watching. And thanks for yeah, watching. the next stream will be, you know. <laughs> um, um, we have a plan here. <laughs> we have a plan, but it's super tiny, uh, tiny font, so I can't read it from here. <laughs> <laughs> but we will show, we show yeah. the schedule right, right after the trailer. Yeah. And so, um, so yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for There's being with come. us, Thomas. And it will be chicken for Thanks for having me. <laughs> and yeah, uh, have a lovely rest of the day. You've got yeah, you ahead too. Of you still. <laughs> Gonna go work on the game somewhere. So <laughs> <laughs> this has inspired me. Okay. Okay. See ya. See bye. Ya. Bye bye. Right. So um, I guess this is goodbye for now. Um, it was really nice talking with, uh, with Thomas. It was really great to have this new insight into how it all came to be and yeah, just all the inspiration and uh, yeah, all the different parts of development. It's really interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a surprise that developers know their game. <laughs> they know <laughs> what they're doing. That's, uh, yeah, no. You really uh, can talk about the game and uh, knows exactly what it's about and what's great about it. Mm -hmm. So, and it's it's good to see the inside where it's coming from and where it's going to. Yeah, so it will be still an interesting project to follow for the upcoming months. Absolutely, and, uh, we'll have new updates coming in all the time. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned and follow us everywhere to to never miss an update or anything. Um, and yeah. Check out uh, the Discord. I just posted it earlier as well. You can go there, and there you will find all sorts of links as well for the Twitter, for our Twitter, and everything else that you might need. <laughs> and yeah, um, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you in the next stream. Yeah. Bye. Bye.